Welcome to the first edition of the Animated News Break. Today we're going to be taking you to Japan where we'll learn about the earthquake and its after effects. That's right, Russell. 9,000 are reported dead, and that's only the number as of March 20th. This earthquake, a 9.0 magnitude, first hit on March 11, 2011, near Honshu, Japan, and the people are absolutely devastated. And back now to Katie for more analysis. Thanks, Shibi. The earthquake will cost over 16 trillion Japanese yen in damages, the equivalent of 309 billion U.S. Officials are unsure how long it will take for the country to fully recover, but many estimate it will be years, if not decades. It has been confirmed as the worst earthquake to hit Japan in recorded history. Now to Emily for more. Thank you, Katie. Next, we will show you a series of before and after satellite photographs cataloging the tsunami's destruction up and down the coast of northern Japan. <laughs> This is the shore of Japan as seen here before the earthquake and before the tsunami struck it. The shore of Japan as seen here after the earthquake and after the tsunami hit the area. It struck the northeast coast on March 12, 2011, triggering a 10-meter tsunami that swept away everything in its path, including houses, ships, cars, and farm buildings on fire. The physical and structural damage is extremely noticeable. This is aerial footage of the Sendai Airport in northeastern Japan before the tsunami hit. On March 11th, floods swept away planes and dumped piles of garbage onto the runways of this once bustling airport. The picture shows the damage. Since the tsunami, relief workers have been working tirelessly to remove water and debris from the area. On April 13th, Sendai Airport was able to reopen several flights, but it will most likely not be able to fully resume operations for another year. This is the Fukushima power plant before the earthquake and tsunami flooded it. Notice its close proximity to the shoreline. This is the plant the day after a 30-foot tsunami wave struck and crippled it. Over a month later, the plant is still leaking radiation into the ocean and atmosphere. Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency raised its ranking of the crisis to 7 last week, putting it on par with Chernobyl as the worst nuclear accident in world history. And that's just the start of the destruction, people. Over in the Sendai area, the houses are absolutely flat. And I mean flat. Look at this before and after picture right here. Right before and the before you see right here, we have very happy families and everything. And they're all crushed to doom by that March 11th faithful day that completely destroyed Japan. Thanks for checking in with the Animated News Break. I've been Russell Cox, COX. I'm Kate Russian. Be sure to check out redcross.org to donate to relief funds. And I'm Shibi Morali. Be sure to join us next week when we highlight how Muhammad Gaddafi has been destroying and flattening the homes of Libya. And I'm Emily Bader. Thanks for joining us. Take us out, Quantum Explosion. <laughs>